This is John, crying like a little baby. He can draw. Hey, it's Mario. Alright, this guy cannot draw for the life of him, but he definitely can animate. Today we honor a creature so badass that when it walks, you shit your pants. Oh, I love me some Friday the 13th, but I'm talking about the legendary T-Rex, baby. Right. Time to let John show us how it's done. Let's do it. Select your character. Rex, select. Select your mode. 3DS Max. Join Watch Me Animate on Patreon or visit Gumroad to get your Rex rig plus the 7 hour full process video for this episode. Let's begin. Today's episode is inspired by Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom as I bring to life the legendary T-Rex in this walk cycle. Welcome to the show everyone, my name is Jonathan Abenheim. Now, there are many ways to animate a walk cycle, but I prefer the straight ahead method with a few contact poses to start me off. So, here they are, five poses with one duplicate. Number one, contact pose. Number two, passing position. Number three, contact. Number four, passing position. And five, contact. So you already know that I like to see things moving right away, so I'll do a quick pass on the timing, selecting all my keys and spacing them out. Next, a quick pass on the comm to get that up and down in rocking motion locked in. Now, this won't look good to your eyes, but this is all I need for my eyes to see a final animation playing in my mind. Now, you can think of it as a visual blueprint for my imagination. Time for a quick pass on the legs and spine, and I'll start off with the lower body first. I'll add in some more texture to the legs, and by texture, I mean tightening up the overall mechanics of the legs so that it looks and feels weight correct. It's also going to give me visual clarity moving forward by keeping things tidy. Next thing, I'm going to add in some spine rotation so that we can start to feel more of his weight as he moves forward. <laughs> Now, who would have guessed that moving a few handles together and adding a couple of keys would allow for instant motion that looks and feels pretty good? And I mean it, uh, if you're not afraid to explore, you discover awesome shortcuts, and this is one of them, that lets you get the tail moving exactly how you want, pretty damn quickly. So we got the tail moving very quickly using just the handles in our F-curve editor and a couple of keys. So why not use the same approach to animate the left and right hip rotation? Not a bad idea at all. So grab a cup of coffee, move those handles and boom, we got some side to side action, baby. I'll use the secondary comp controller and add in some subtle shakes as he takes steps forward, adding more realism to this animation. Back to the legs we go, I'll add in more details, or texture if you will. Now that is the fancy industry term that is used quite often when referring to animation details. Now in case you haven't noticed yet, my Rex model does not have a sophisticated muscle rig obviously, but that does not stop me from improvising to simulate muscle contractions in the legs. So on the contact poses using the knee pivot controllers and our good friend Mr. Rotations aka knee IOI, we can make those imaginary leg muscles come to life. Alright, so for the next four polished passes, I'm going to share a little background story with you on how I got into this industry. So here's the story. So the first Jurassic Park film is what got me super interested in the wonderful world of computer graphics. I was sitting on my couch that day. I remember I was 18 sitting on my couch watching a show called Movie Magic. Now for those who don't know, Movie Magic was a documentary series focused on the creation of movie and television special and visual effects. It used to air on the Discovery Channel. 
Now the episode that day was all about special effects and visual effects for Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park. Now I of course was glued to my small television set. I remember it was in my brother's room, a small little TV, and I am like glued to the screen thinking, oh my God, this is so damn cool. Now in that episode, they interviewed a couple of artists whose words to this day I will never forget. Quick side note, I wish I remembered these artists' names, but I don't. But what I remember them saying was the following that they lived in Montreal working for a company called Soft Image and they got a chance to work on the movie Jurassic Park. Now, you're probably wondering how does this tie into me getting into the industry? Totally fair question. Let me tell you how. So hearing those words as a kid really inspired me to try to figure out how I can get into computer graphics to maybe one day work on a movie as well. So I discovered a local school in Montreal that offered a program called Multimedia and Design. Yes, there was no 3D animation program, it was Multimedia and Design. We did Flash and we did Dreamweaver and it absolutely <laughs> All right, so I absolutely stopped in Dreamweaver and Flash, but I still graduated from the program and was lucky enough to land my first job in the game industry for the one and only Ubisoft. And that, my friends, is my true story on how I got into the industry. Now, back to the program as I finalized this animation on the tail, making sure the delay and the overlap work well. Onto the arms, which I left untouched for a while, I'll clear the existing animation and key in some new rotations, delay and overlap with slight offset from each other. And this is how I animate a T-Rex walk cycle. It is now time for a WMA recap. So here's how we animated this T-Rex walk cycle. Number one, we started off with five contact poses for the legs, including one duplicate pose. Number two, we did a quick pass on the legs and calm to start locking in the proper mechanics of the walk cycle. Number three, we started refining the animation on the legs and added some spine rotation as well. Number four, we did a quick pass on the tail to lock in the mechanics and get it feeling weight correct. Number five, we revisited the spine to add the left and right hip rotation and translation as well. Number six, back to the legs, we added subtle rotations to uh, simulate muscle contractions. Number seven, we added the head rotation and subtle shake, including a new camera for a more cinematic shot. Number eight, we created a secondary camera with more shake and we did more polish to the overall animation. Number nine, we tested out some animation on the arms to see if I like the ragdoll look and feel. Number 10, uh, we did some more adjustments to the overall timing of the walk cycle and finally, Number 11, made more adjustments, cleaned everything up, and there you have it. This is how we animated a T-Rex walk cycle. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, super excited to go see the movie. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode and drop a comment below to let me know what you think. Continue, 10, 9, 8. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and drop a comment below to let us know what you think. Watch Me Animate honors the following patrons for their support. Game over.